Here are some of the worst names in pro wrestling history. Ken Raper. When coming up with a name for a wrestler, the name should mean something. So when a wrestler debuted on WWE TV called Ken Raper, fans were baffled. This is without a doubt one of the worst wrestling names of all time, and it's unbelievable to think that this name was ever approved. Huge Erection. Huge Erection was a new persona for Hugh Morris during the final years of WCW. And the obvious pun behind the name aside, it did little for his standing in the company, as he was considered a novelty act thanks to one of the worst names in WCW's infamous history, Meat. Sean Stasiak debuted on WWE TV in the late 90s and was given the name of Meat. Meat was a ladies man, yet with a name like Meat, he was never going to break out of the lower mid card. Dr. Isaac Yankum. Before Kane was, well, Kane, he would portray a demonic dentist character in WWE known as Dr. Isaac Yankum. This character was horrifically bad and the name didn't exactly do him any favors either. Husky Harris. When Bray Wyatt first started in WWE, he portrayed a character known as Husky Harris. This character had many flaws, and the most significant one was the lousy name. Thankfully, Wyatt eventually ditched the dreaded name, and the Bray Wyatt fans loved was born. Duke the Dumpster Drossy. Portraying a literal garbage man was always going to be a tough task. And to Drossy's credit, he did his absolute best to make it work. The issue was ultimately that nobody was going to care about a wrestler that had a word dumpster in his name. Beaver Cleavage. In 1999, Headbanger Marsh was given the new character of Beaver Cleavage. This was a character that had sexual innuendos between a mother and son, and it was a name and idea that failed to take off. Retribution Members. When the Retribution Stable revealed their names, the faction was officially dead in the water. Names in the infamous faction included T-Bar, Mace, and Slapjack. These names were actively mocked by fans, fellow wrestlers, and even the actual wrestlers portraying the respective characters. Shorty G. Vince McMahon had always had a notorious dislike for short wrestlers, and this was clear in 2019 when Chad Gable became Shorty G. Shorty G was a gimmick that was solely based around Gable's height, and although the creative for the character was abysmal, Gable, as he always has, did his best with the character. Eventually, WWE dropped the Shorty G name, and Gable was allowed to revert to the Chad Gable name. Terrorizing when Triple H was in WCW, he portrayed a character known as Terrorizing. This awful name has been mocked and belittled by fans and even the game himself over the past three decades, and for good reason, as it's a name that has no aura and the name was never going to make Triple H a household name in the world of pro wrestling. Eli Cottonwood Eli Cottonwood was a contestant on the game show format of NXT, and one of the things holding him back was his name. Even when the commentators said his name in full, it just sounded insanely ridiculous and made up. It was far too long, and the fans were never going to accept that Eli Cottonwood was a real wrestler's name. Michael McGillicutty When WWE called up the son of legendary Mr. Perfect Kurt Hennig for the game show format of NXT, the logical move would have been to embrace his lineage and refer to him as Michael or Joe Hennig. However, WWE had a completely different idea in mind. The name they decided on was Michael McGillicutty. This name completely annihilated any chances he had of being a star. Everyone with a brain knew that if he was going to make it onto the main roster, it needed to be changed. This would eventually occur in 2013 when he would become Curtis Axel. This name was a vast improvement, yet Joe or Michael Hennig was literally right there for the WWE's taking. A Kid a Kid managed to get by thanks to his incredible in-ring talents, yet his name has always been a controversial topic among fans. Some fans think that the name sounds terrible, yet some believe that the name suits his persona. WWE had other ideas when it came to his name, as during his time on the NXT brand, A Kid would become Axiom. There have also been some miscellaneous jobbers, jobbers that appeared once or twice in WWF as enhancement talent. Some of the names include Bobby Salsa, Eric Freedom, and Starla Saxton. But if you didn't have Starla Saxton in WWF, then you had Starla Sexton, aka Molly Holly, in WCW. But there you have it, folks. The worst names in pro wrestling history. I'm sure there's plenty more, so would you guys like to see a part two? Let us know in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.